What's up, YouTube? My name is Gray, and today we are here with a. Uh, uh, we are here today with a brand new old reboot series thing. That's right, I'm going back to Pokemon Explorers of Sky because I have a theory. My theory is that. The, the decline in my content and the decline in my mental health and everything started right around when I dropped the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon series. So, I'm going to pick it back up, I am going to actually complete it, and then we'll see where we are. So, we're picking it up from scratch because the old save file was, uh, gone. Okay, let me correct myself. It wasn't the old save file that was gone. The old save file was there. But the old footage is gone, so a large swath of important story is also gone. So I'm just going to restart it from scratch, and we're going to take it by ear. So, without further ado, let it begin. This is the portal that leads to the world inhabited only by Pokémon. Beyond this gateway, many new adventures and fresh experiences await your arrival. Before you depart for this adventure, you must answer some questions. Be truthful when you answer them. Now, are you ready? Then, let the questions begin. Did you play Explorers of Time or Explorers of Darkness? I have not, no. You've been handed a large bag as a souvenir. What do you do? Um... What do I do? Uh, it's smaller than everyone else's. Wait until I get home to open it. Shake it. Open it. Um... What do I do? Well, so I'm, I'm handed a bag. And according to this, it's smaller than everyone else's. So... I'm not going to shake it, because it might rip. I don't want to open it because I don't want to be rude. The thing is, I would do both. I would notice that it's smaller than everyone else's, but the ellipses at the end isn't warranted because I wouldn't really care. Because a gift is a gift. But I would notice that first. But I think this is asking, like, is that what you focus on, or do you focus on waiting till you get home to open it? In which case, I think I gotta wait to get home to open it because I was raised as that is the polite thing to do. So we're gonna go with that. Do you prefer to play outside rather than inside? Uh, it really depends, but usually no. You see a cake that has passed its expiration date, but only by one day. What do you do? Uh, get someone to try it first, think about it briefly, then decide. Oh, come on, bro, it's literally a day. It's a cake! For crying out loud, it's already cooked! Odds are it was in the fridge. I'm chowing down on it, she is! Do you think you have good study habits? Uh, well, I never lose in sports. I don't have a good study habit because I've never really had to study before in my life. And when I have, it was really just like a day or two in advance of the test, so you couldn't really consider it studying. You're in a completely silent assembly when you suddenly hear someone pass gas. How do you react? Uh... Roll on the floor laughing, just let it go by. Who was that? Um... You know what? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I'd, I'd laugh. I'd probably just... You know, I wouldn't be rolling on the floor, but I definitely laugh at it. You're on a stroll when a TV crew pounces on you for an interview. What do you do? Run away! I answer the questions properly, or yuck it up, woohoo, I'm on TV. Uh, well, I'm going to answer the questions properly, but odds are I'm a yuck it up a little bit. Just a little bit, you know, get my good charisma flowing, if you can uh, even consider any of my charisma good charisma. If you saw someone doing something bad, would you scold? Could you scold them? Of course! I'm gonna rip your ass a new one if you do something wrong. Of course, I gotta forgive you after that, but I'm still gonna rip your ass a new one. 
You notice that a toy you bought for full price yesterday is marked down to half price today. How do you feel? Um... Ah! Yeah. Yeah, Arg. Arg is probably it. Are you male or female? I am a dude, my dude. Now your aura will be analyzed. Okay. Um... Press your fingertip gently on the bow. <sighs> your aura has now been identified. Lift your finger from the touch screen. It is... A clear aqua blue. Isn't that what I got last time? Hold up. Uh, thank you for answering all those questions. You seem to be the naive type. You're so open and innocent. What a strong sense of curiosity you have. And you state your options purely sh uh, sharing exactly what you think. You also have an artistic spirit that isn't restrained by social conventions. You startle people with your spontaneity and vision. But when you overdo it, other people can have a hard time keeping up with you. Have you noticed people looking at you oddly, as if for no apparent reason? So a naive innocent type like you will be a chimchar, of course, your least favorite starter. And finally, who will be your partner? Choose the Pokemon you want for a partner. Uh, who do I want as a partner? Uh, I'm gonna go with Trico, actually. Trico! Yes, I want Trico. Uh, what will Trico's name be? Very good question. Um, we're gonna name him Blep. All right, enter the world of Pokemon. Be strong, stay smart, and be victorious. This has been another excellent use of the Identify spell. Uh, no, don't let go just a little longer. Come on, hang on. Wait, what's going on? No, no I can't hold on. No! What? I, I, I literally do not remember a single damn thing from this. Uh, where am I? I can't... Drifting off. <laughs> no? I refuse to be paralyzed by this any longer. This is it. I have to steal my courage today. Pokemon detected! Pokemon detected! Who is Footprint? Who is Footprint? The Footprint is Trico's! The Footprint is Trico's! Yeah! Well, that was too shocking! I can't... I can't work up the courage to go in after all! I told myself that this is the day, but... I thought that holding on to my personal treasure would inspire me. I just can't do it. I'm such a coward. This is so discouraging. Hey, Zubat. Did you get a load of that? You bet I did, coughing. The little wimp was pacing around. Had something good, right? That wimp had something, that's for sure. It looked like some kind of treasure. Do we go after it? We do. I remember Zubat and Coughing, though. I remember them, they're jerkwads. Oh, wow! What a pretty sight!
When the weather is good, the crabby come out and sun down and blow bubbles. All those bubbles catching the setting sun's rays off the waves. It's always beautiful. This is where I always come when I'm feeling sorry for myself. But it makes me feel good to be here like always. Coming here is uplifting. It cheers me right up. Hey, what's that? What's going on over there? What? what? Someone has collapsed on the sand. What happened? Are you okay? Oh. You're awake! That's a relief. Where... <laughs> Where am I? You weren't moving at all. I was seriously worried. Do you remember how you ended up unconscious out here? I... I was unconscious? What happened? Well, I blep. Glad to meet you. And who are you? I've never seen you around here before. What? You say you're a human? You look like a totally normal chimchar to me. It, it's true! I've turned into a chimchar! But how did this happen? I don't remember anything. You're a little odd. Are you pulling some kind of trick on me? You're telling me the truth? All right, then. Your name? What's your name? My name? Uh, that's right, my name is, uh, Gray. Oh, Gray is your name! Okay, well, you don't seem to be a bad Pokemon, at least. Sorry that I doubted you. More and more bad Pokemon have been turning up lately, you see? Many Pokemon have gotten aggressive lately. Things have grown somewhat lawless. Oh, hell no! Gosh! Well, I do beg your pardon. Hey, why'd you do that? You can't figure it out? We wanted to mess with you. Can't face up to us, can ya? What? That's yours, isn't it? No, that's... Uh... Sorry, kiddo. We'll take that. Ah! Whoa-ho-ho! Not gonna make a move to get that back? What's the matter? Too scared? I didn't expect that you'd be such a big coward. Come on, let's get out of here. See you around, chicken. <laughs> oh, what should I do? That's my personal treasure. It means everything to me. If I lose that... No, no, there's no time to waste. I've got to get it back. Hey, can I get you to help me? Uh, I mean, what do you want me to do? We don't have time to waste. Come on. Okay. Really? You really help? Thank you. Let's go quickly. And now we enter the dungeon. I remember somewhat how to play. Please don't. Uh, so we gotta go to moves. So let's use Scratch. And of course we miss. Well, thank you anyways, Blep. Helpful as always. I want to make sure we collect everything in this uh, dungeon. I, I gotta relearn all the stuffs, too. Um... Ow! Still? Okay. Holy shit! Okay. That was a buff boy! Okay! Oh, you... Uh -uh. Stop it! Um... Really? Ah, uh, no. Don't! Stop! We're just going to be grinding for a little bit here so that we can try and get an ember. 
Or like some form of stab. Eventually. Hey! Yo! Let's go! That's what I'm looking for, baby! Give us that sweet, sweet amber! Uh, hey! Well, well. If it isn't our old friend, the big chicken. Uh, give me! Give me back what you stole from me! That's my personal treasure! It means everything to me! Treasure, you say? So that thing really is valuable, huh? Could be worth more than we'd hoped for, I'd say. We ought to try selling it. Who knows? It might get a good price. Whoa ho ho ho! All the more reason not to give it back! What? If you want it back that badly, come and get it! <laughs> uh oh. Alright, lads, I'm getting mauled. Uh. BAM! Goodbye, Zubat! Goodbye, Norma Jean! Uh, Embed. Get out of here, you weak ass bitches! Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, yeah! you, we got roughed up. Hell yeah, you did. Get out of my house. Blasted! How do we get wiped out by wimps like them? Ah, here you go. Take it then. Whoa! Don't think you're so awesome. Your victory was a fluke. Yeah, you just remember that! Oh, uh, it's my relic fragment! Am I ever glad? I actually did manage to get it back! It's only because you agreed to help me, Gray. Thank you! Thank you, seriously! I only helps because I happened to be there. Is that the right thing to do? I guess so. This Pokemon is clearly grateful. It's nice to be appreciated. Here's what they stole. This is a relic fragment. Well, at least that's what I started calling it. But this relic fragment is my precious treasure. You see, I've always liked legends and lore. I always get so excited when I hear tales from the past. Don't you feel the same way? Hidden troves full of treasure and strange relics. Uncharted territories veiled in darkness. And new lands just waiting to be discovered. Such places might be full of unimaginable golden treasure. And history. Wouldn't it be amazing to make historic discoveries? That's what I always dream of. It's all exciting to me. So one day, I happened to come across my relic fragment. I admit that it looks like junk, but take a closer look. See? That inscription forms a strange pattern, doesn't it? It's true. There is a strange inscription. I've never seen a pattern like this. There must be some significance to this pattern. This relic fragment must be the key to legendary places, to areas where precious treasure lies. At least that's the feeling I get. That's why I want to join an exploration team. This fragment must fit into something... somewhere. I want to discover where that is. I want to solve the mystery of my relic fragment. So earlier, I tried joining an exploration team as an apprentice, but I chickened out. What about you, Gray? What are you going to do now? You lost your memory and you somehow transformed into a Pokemon. Do you have anywhere to go and stay after this? If not, can I ask a big favor? Would you be willing to form an exploration team with me? I'm convinced that I can form an effective exploration team with you, Gray. So will you? Please? Oh, what should I do? I'm, I'm getting recruited out of the blue. I don't know what exploration team is. What should I do? Should I join this Pokemon and form an exploration team? 
Uh, yeah, we should. It's true, I do have nowhere to go. I don't have any clue what I should do next. I guess it wouldn't hurt to team up with Blep for now. Maybe I'll eventually discover who or what I am by hanging out with this Pokemon. Okay, that's settled. Yes? Really? You'll form an exploration team with me? Yes, thank you! We're going to be a great combination. Let's make this work! First, we should go to Wigglytuff's place and sign up as apprentices. That's where we need to train to become a first-rate exploration team. I'm sure the training will be very tough. But let's give it our best, Gray. And so, Blep and Gray formed an exploration team. This turned out to be the very first step into many fantastic realms of adventure that awaited their arrival. Woo! I love this intro too, this intro. Oh, like an angel's kiss. Because you know that's where his relic fragment goes. You know that's where his relic fragment goes. Right in the middle with that gap right there. And that's probably an altar to summon a legendary Pokemon. All I'm saying, Aussie is going to grant us any wish we so desire by saving his us from whatever. Anyways, that's going to wrap up episode one. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed today's episode... Don't forget to leave a like and comment down below. Hit the bell icon to be alerted whenever I go live or post a new video. Thank you guys yet again for watching, and we will see all of y'all beautiful people in the next episode. <gasps> Good.